Is it recording or not? Yeah, it's recording. Sorry, yeah, I felt like it was uh, taking a photo. But in this episode, I'm going to show you how I prepped the windows, uh, window installation. So, as you can see, I already got a little bit off, and I thought to myself, why not show you how I do it? Uh, this is the insulation part uh, two. And this is the first layer, second layer, and third layer. And uh, before I can install the windows, I need to put here a uh, high uh, density XPS hole so the load of the window doesn't uh, deform the uh, cheap insulation. I would have done it all with uh, XPS high uh, density foam, but oh my god, the cost is like eight times or nine times the cost of the this one. But yeah. Oh, oh, it's okay. It's sturdy, but not that uh, sturdy for me. Yeah. Uh, now I'll show you how I cut the windows out, uh, and yeah, you get the point. Easy AP as PZ. Uh, I'm going to compile in this video the in, uh, pre preparations for installing the windows and the doors are also, all, uh, also the same way. Uh, sorry, uh, my nose is a little bit uh, filled with this uh, stuff. The mask works well, because, uh, but uh, the top part of the uh, holster uh, is uh, pushing down on my nose and it's getting wet thanks to that. But yeah, uh, for you it's in a couple of seconds, but for me it's in a couple of days uh, I'll start prepping the windows. So, have fun and see you in a bit. So, the next step in the process uh, for the prep for the windows are, as you can see, I don't have a mask, so uh, is the I don't know what it's called, uh, but this is where the rain falls and the water comes off. So it needs not to be level or higher because if the, it's higher, the water will uh, go straight towards the window. If it's uh, level, still goes to the window. So it has to have a little bit of uh, uh, downwards. I don't know what it, what's called, but yeah. So I'm going to measure the degree I want. So I mark this one side. Now I set it to level. And mark the uh, bottom part. Why I'm doing this? This is uh, five centi centimeters. Uh, that's uh, the right height from the XPS foam that's uh, beneath, uh, back there. So I'll bring that and I'll show you what I mean. Oh. Still wet from the winter. Five centimeters lower is because uh, oh my god it's one centimeter 
I need to calculate this. Let's make a new one. Ah, oh, different height. Yeah, damn it. Yeah. I'll get the tools. Let's mark the height. One pro tip, using the foam gun, the front part gets jammed up all the time. Just take a simple knife, all done. I should bring a leveler. Yeah. Now it should be in level. Let's check. Yep, straight. Ah, I can see that it should be. I still forgot one thing. Uh. 
Ah. Tree is the rule. I forgot. Totally forgot about this. Again, I put clue down. I need to bring a hammer. This is fourth time. This is some um, strong material. Is it still in level? Yep. Too short. Now.
second extension. Now, for the point uh, why I put this outside uh, is because another one will go on top of this one and uh, the load uh, from the window will sit on the main wall but uh, not to uh, put on the soft material that's really soft as you can see. Come on! Uh, it will sit here and it will have a somewhere to uh, stand on this is quite hard material so uh, if I'm going to put the other ones uh, uh, on and I'll show you that later but now you get to point hey I just wanted to show you uh, this is a cut off piece and that's one reason why I glue everything together here is first layer, second layer, third layer. So this is 120, 50, 50. I didn't get uh, the last layer because it was cut off from somewhere there. But here's a good example uh, <coughs> why I like to glue it. Uh, let's see if we can get it to camera. Uh, so as you can see, this is glued together so this is the first layer this is the second layer and here you can see here's a joint and here's the glue that's uh, gone inside and here's the outside so now yeah and uh, that's why I like to glue it usually they should just fall apart but uh, if I have glued them then yeah it should give me a better uh, thermal uh, barrier but as you can see nicely a lot of glue but yeah the upper part is for the day I'm thinking uh, at this rate I can the bottom part was easy to do okay let's get it up the bottom part was easy to do it was two days and the whole house uh, was uh, rounded up but getting higher it takes a lot more time and if it's windy I can't do it today is a bit wind so I hopefully I can get this part done but it will take a lot <sighs> Estim estimated my time uh, current time I need uh, around two weeks for one wall uh, only on the top part and so my time frame current time frame is uh, uh, around seven to eight weeks so it's two months to get the whole house done if I'm only doing it on the weekends hopefully my work days are getting shorter and I can do it uh, after work day a little bit each day but if not then two months and I got the house done then I need to do the windows uh, and then I need to do the roof oh my god oh yeah but uh, each time I put every board down I feel like yeah a little bit closer to completion so stay tuned and let's see you in a couple of days or weeks for you in a couple of seconds. So, welcome to the next part. Uh, in this uh, part, I'm going to start making the uh, windows ready for installation. For that, I need to put down the insulations that I have talked prior. And 
here will go the first la uh, one layer that will insulate from the outside and eliminate all the cold barriers that could be uh, potential for the house. Uh, I already did one part, so here you can see uh, this is the stone wall insulation part and this will go uh, on the uh, bottom part. I need to do this before I can put down those uh, so I have, I have the right measurements and uh, this will be glued down uh, this is uh, for keeping it down uh, until it cures uh, this is a uh, low uh, expansion foam so it won't uh, uh, put them uh, off and uh, now to show how I do the insulation uh, what I have already done is uh, used the uh, saw and just cut it uh, straight so I have no, no overhangs. Maybe here you can see I have some parts over, but yeah, I cleaned it all up so no debris is there. And now to make the cut. Easy as peasy. There is nothing hard. Uh, the only thing is uh, if you're using uh, spray foam and high uh, expansion foam, uh, it may put them off, so uh, you have to cut them out. So that's why I'm doing each window at a time. The windows are perfectly level and they already have a slope built in. Uh, so <laughs> Installing the windows will be so easy. Uh, I can't remember if I showed you, but uh, uh, those are uh, 2.5 millimeters bigger than the windows, and they will be used as a, a way to get the uh, size of the windows correct. Now, off to the next windows, and in the next episode, not the episode, in the next part, I will show you how I do the round part. But yeah, that's for another time, and it's mega nice outside. So, see you in a bit, for me, see, <laughs> in one to two weeks, because it will take time to get to the next part. So, I did the framework. Uh, uh, I would have loved to have here uh, one, uh, 100 millimeters, uh, but it doesn't fit. I have to cut the stone uh, to make it fit. Uh, it's nine uh, centimeters is the distance so I will lose uh, one centimeter and that's not a problem for me uh, so I brought uh, some 50 mil uh, styrofoam as the I don't want to cut the rigid ones <laughs> those are a pain in the ass I leave a small cap here and a bigger cap there and uh, that way I can get the benefit I wanted but not like I wanted so I, I did the first frame uh, so I know what I'm doing uh, as it was all in just in my head and now I put it all together but yeah I uh, put some foam down but now off to how I do it and I was thinking I need to say less ah mm, mm. I'll try to fix that one also. Also is one word I want to get rid of my uh, vocabulary. But now, 
of the work. Cure. It's not a high uh, expansion foam, and for the big gaps, I brought uh, some high expansion uh, foam. Uh, this is a one-time uh, use bottle, not fit with a gun. It uses. Uh, I can only use it one time, so uh, one bottle per two windows. I hope that's enough. And <coughs> what I discovered. Uh, I need to get uh, those boards more because I thought uh, to myself as much as calculated in the shop uh, and still any more. But now, yeah, I let them cure, uh, I'll paint the car, and I'm not going to show you how I fill it because there's nothing hard. You just put the bottle uh, caps on, just put the puddle in, foam it full and you win the stand. Uh, I haven't decided if I should afterwards, if I take to town, uh, should I put two windows uh, in place to test if everything fits or not. Uh, yeah, I haven't thought about that. One thing, every window was uh, okay, but uh, one window, I'll show you, one window was uh, fucked up, uh, yeah, this one, I, I don't know uh, if it's uh, with the wind or what happened, but uh, it moved a lot and I don't think it's level also because I have to check if I'm going to take it down uh, or just put a strip here uh, I have to think about that so I'll check it later on if I clean it up uh, I'm going to test if it's in level I'm going to put here another board if not then this one's going to be taken down and again this one's good the center is good this one is good but uh, why it moved I really don't know but yeah till the setting of the windows now for the next part Here's a Sika tape, uh, really high performance tape, and here's a cheaper uh, <coughs> a variation of this from a different company. Uh, it was labeled high performance tape. It costs uh, two times less than this one, but why I'm taping uh, before the installation of the windows is because even if the caps uh, are tiny then uh, afterwards if I'm going to take down the windows uh, those may be uh, some uh, small leakage there and <coughs> I don't want to risk it so every joint uh, in the window frame and door frame will be uh, taped down I will show you the difference uh, but first Here's the part, the pre part of the windows uh, taping. Uh, I cut off the foam that's everywhere in the joints. Yeah, you get the point. And cleaning everything else oh, uh, off. And afterwards, I'm going to install the tape. I'll show you right up there the last part. But first, 
let's test the performance of those two tapes. So, if you ever wondered why SIGA is uh, so highly recommended around the world, uh, this is for UV resistance outside tape. It's not uh, for the final windows, uh, those tapes will be uh, much higher grade and costs uh, for the outside. There's the black edition and uh, I can't remember the name, but you will find it on the website. And for the inside, uh, they have the white tape. Uh, so those are two di different tapes, but both have their own uh, niche. But now, to give them both the same uh, reading. Let's take the same size. First off, the thickness of the tapes. It's much thicker than the other one. Let's clean it again. First time. Second one now. Is it in frame? Yeah. I'll take it a little bit closer so you can see. Let's push them down so they have the So they are both down and now to show you and that's it cheap tape and it's not elastic it's a little bit elastic but not much as you can see and you can see I can roll it up and take it uh, again yeah with Little bit of see if I can get it to the same size as prior. You can see almost back to what it was. So, this is the cheap one now for the Sika one. Okay. Okay, got it off. Does it stick? Not that much anymore, but let's roll it up. It's, ah, it sticks everywhere, so let's see if I can get it back up. Okay. My fingers are also sticky right now. Oh, we got it back. Uh, now for the elasticity. You can see, much stronger. All the way around. Oh, and you can see it still sticks. I can still glue it down and uh, it still sticks so yeah you can see what what's the difference in quality oh my god my fingers are also yeah <laughs> almost maybe i can show you how sticky my fingers are right now yeah if you can see the blade is still sticking to my fingers so that's why i personally recommend Siga tapes awesome products 
They're not the cheapest ones, but yeah, they work. Oh, this is also sticky. And this isn't. It's, yeah. Okay, now to show you the taping part. Uh, because this year it's kind of rainy and it's going to rain for the next two weeks from dusk till dawn then I can't wait for a better weather than if there is no rain or a little bit of rain so first clean off that boards Ah, ah, my fingers are full of the Ziga bake. Let's take the right size. They have two layers, so you can uh, easily take as much as you need. Then afterwards, I should have done the test later because my fingers are so loose. One important thing when installing the tape, first you put it down without uh, putting down any force on the tape. So when the tape is down, you put a little bit of force on it, so it's in the right spot. Uh, why you don't put the force right away is to get uh, let the tape have the elasticity that it needs. Afterwards, take something that you can press it really tightly down. And now for the final part. Ah, and that's it. Uh, this is round the corner and I use this to put every seam that I have to get the uh, force in the seam so the glue will be in the seam all the way. And that's it. Uh, this is really not needed because the joints are really small and they are uh, filled with uh, foam. But uh, if you install the windows, you will put this uh, taped up, but you can't glue uh, tape beneath the window. Uh, maybe with some really hardcore messing around you can do it, but uh, it's easier to put the tape down before and after you install the windows, you uh, put the foam down, the glue down, then the tape down and that's it. Uh, the windows are all, almost 90 kilograms, so I need a little bit of help uh, with this because even if I rise the window to the right spot, I am not able to boot it up. Oh my god, I totally forgot one thing. Uh, Okay, let's put the camera down. I can put this also at the uh, down today. Uh, this is an elastic uh, glue down tape that's uh, uh, a little, uh, fold, uh, and this is used for the bottom part of the window because I can, if I'm uh, putting down the window, there isn't any uh, room left for me to put down the. Uh, adhesive so this will act as an uh, two-sided adhesive uh, this will also be put down right now one extra thing I like to do when installing windows is 
Make sure you. Now, so this is done. And for an easier install of the window, what I do is uh, I level this part out. So I later don't have to do it uh, when installing the window. I level the frame out so it has the uh, how do you say? It, uh, it is uh, tilted outwards, uh, and the top part is tilted this way. So when rain comes, it will uh, go outside. Those are straight, and what I do is I mark down. Uh, Let's see if it's, yeah, it's visible. I mark down a straight line to the top. It's leveled. Uh, so if I install the window, I just need to put the, the window frame towards this part and this part. And no level is needed in the installation of the window. I do the work pre, uh, up. This, it's one extra step uh, when uh, doing the windows. But and doors also, but uh, in the installation process, it's much faster, uh, it's more accurate, and yeah, uh, the windows need also need to be a higher grade if they are like, a, then yeah, then there's no use to put this much effort into it anyways. But yeah, next part is installing the windows. Uh, I hope, uh, because my frame is quite tight, uh, I hope this tape will stay in place because it's not the best adhesive and it's meant for if you have a lot of room, but I don't have, so I may take this off uh, in the installation process, but hopefully not. If I do, then I need to rise the window a little bit so I can get the clues and uh, foam uh, beneath the window frame. Yeah. Till the next video. Uh, not till the next video, next part in this video. As always, I can't uh, wait for help. So I'm trying to put those uh, 90 kilogram windows in alone. Hopefully I don't break uh, one, so if I do, three months, four months of waiting, so before winter I get a new one. <sighs> Let's see what happens. Uh, I'm not so sure about this, but I can't wait!
first swing that I set. Hello. Whoa. <coughs> Was mega hard, but I did it a lot. One more thing I wanted to show you: the bolts I use uh, to put the window in place are so huge. I'll show you. Those bolts are this size. So, for a comparison, here's a cigarette pack that's 10 centimeters. So, 10. 20 almost 30 centimeters why so long is simple because the foam is going to take up this part so this is going to be in the wall and this is going to be in the foam why so heavy duty uh, screws are because uh, uh, to take the wind load off uh, I needed something really strong and uh, sturdy and those should uh, do the uh, job. Yeah, it's possible to put those windows down by yourself. They are hard. Not, not hard, but they are really heavy. And yeah, the fit is exactly as I planned, but it's mega tight so it's really hard to foam it later on but uh, there is a 2.5 millimeter cap on this side this side this side on the upside uh, and yeah it's going to be a hard one but I'm not going to change the size of the window uh, but yeah first window down I don't know if I'm going to foam them today, but uh, I'm going to put the second one uh, in also. Maybe I'm going to foam it. No, I'm not going to foam because uh, I need to empty the last can. Uh, for that, I need to do the, that wall first. Then I get this can for uh, free. And afterwards, I can use it with the window foam. I have special foam for some parts of the house. Uh, yeah, foaming is next. Stay tuned. I did a smoke break. The second uh, window to pull up. <sighs> One window per day. Okay, two. I couldn't rise it uh, from the ground. But in the end, I still managed to do it. Here's the special foam for the window, and I'm going to do it today uh, without the extra gun. Uh, so you can see how I'm cleaning my old gun and prepping it for the new one ready. Uh, why I'm doing this today? Because everything's dry at the moment, it's not raining and it will have a better adhesive uh, when I do it now. It's easier to just waste this bottle than to waste uh, good weather. So now let's open the old one. Okay. Should be cleared. And uh, now as it's tight as hell, where's my knife? Oh, my knife is here. First let's clean the tip.
let's add an extension why I'm going to use an extension is because I need to get into the cracks so this is going to fit into the extension and I'm going to flatten it a little bit so here we are going to see how to flatten the head let's just take a hammer and uh, flatten this way This should fit into the crack. Uh, this way I can fill the window. Now, let's show you what I mean here. By here. Uh, this is going to get in here. And that's how I'm going to fill the whole window from the inside and outside. This should give me an air tight seal. As you can see, it's quite quite, uh, quite tight. On the bottom part, I'll show you right now. Here you can see it's uh, the adhesive that I put down. It's nicely tight fit because there is no way in hell I can get the foam down here. So this will act uh, as a barrier. So, till I think that now it's completed. Yeah, the window part is completed. So I can wrap this video up. And till next time. Ah, you thought the video is over. But think again. I forgot three steps inside the window. First one is to clean up the yesterday's foam. Second one is to use uh, special uh, window silicone. I need to make uh, uh, less special uh, silicone for the windows. Those will be on each corner added. Uh, the point why I add silicone, special silicone, is because if uh, I did one window and one part of the tape uh, I cut accidentally so the silicone will prevent uh, any uh, future uh, installation mistakes and so on after that this uh, step is the final step and uh, that will be shown after the fast forward so have fun That's it. As you saw, the tapes from the manufacturer were still on. I put down the silicone afterwards. Uh, I used my finger to put it all in, the, uh, in every crack I could find. And <coughs> later I pulled off the tape. Uh, even if there are some parts that would love to have some uh, job, like the corners, but I'm not going to touch them uh, because uh, I'm going to make it messy. So afterwards, when it's uh, cured tomorrow, I will use a cupsium uh, knife that we have in Estonia, and I will just correct the corners. And then for the last part, as you can see, I already did those two windows uh, today 
I can't really do anything more because it's uh, raining really nicely outside. So, yeah. <laughs> As you can see, I have a lot of excess uh, foam here. But what you do, what you're gonna do when you're in a hurry because the weather is like mm, pain in the ass. Yeah. I don't know, I have still have some uh, time left before, uh, before the sun sets. Uh, maybe I'm going to build the uh, frames for the doors, same as those. Uh, but who knows, maybe just pick and coffee and Netflix and who knows. So, till uh, in a couple of seconds when I show the final part. Let's do the last part. Taping it all up. Have fun, and that will be the last part for the installation of the windows.